Hi there! So I thought about starting a new series on machine learning questions you may encounter in your interview. Because I've noticed this subject isn't very well covered and I myself have struggled to find good resources in the past. So here we go, the first problem. Okay, so what's given to us is a test that has an error of 5% and the probability of being infected is 1%. And the interviewer is asking us, What's the probability of being infected if I test it positive? So, in other words, what we have to calculate is the probability of being infected given that we tested positive. And how do we calculate that? Well, by using the base rule, which tells us that the probability of being infected given that we tested positive is equal to the probability of being positive given that we are infected multiplied by the probability of being infected, all divided by the probability of being positive. Ok, so let's look now at each term and let's try to calculate it. So first of all, we have the probability of being positive given that we are infected. So, the probability of being positive given that we are infected. So what's that? Well, here, the interviewer told us that the probability of having an error for our test is 5%. So the probability of being positive, given that we are not infected, is equal to 0.05. So what would be then the probability of being positive, given that we are infected? Well, it's nothing else than 1 minus 0.05, which is equal to 0.95. Ok, very good, so we have computed the first term. Then, what's the probability of being infected? So, the probability of being infected. That's even simpler, because it's given directly to us. So, we have here the probability of being infected, it's 1%. So, this one is 0.01. .01. Now, finally, what's the probability of being positive? Ok, so the probability of being positive. Well, that's a little bit trickier to calculate because we have to use the law of total probability. Which tells us that the probability of being positive is equal to the sum of all probabilities cases. Which in our case would be that the probability of being positive and being infected, plus the probability of being positive, given that we are not infected. Which further equals down to the probability of being positive, given that we are infected, multiplied by the probability of being infected, plus the probability of being positive, given that we are not infected, multiplied by the probability of not being infected. And if we look now at this equation, we can observe that we know all these terms. So the probability of being positive given that we are infected, we have just calculated it here, so it's 0 0.95. Multiplied by the probability of being infected, this is 0 0.01, plus the probability of being positive given that we are not infected, this is the test error, which is equal to 0 0.05 multiplied by the probability of not being infected. And this is 99%, so 0 0.99. And because I don't want to bore you with this calculation, I've pre-computed it and it should give us 0 0.059. Okay, and now we can answer the question that we have been asked. So, what's the probability of being infected given that we tested positive. Well, does the probability of being positive given that we are infected, the 0 0.95, multiplied by the probability of being infected, the 0 0.01, and all divided by the probability of testing positive, and that's 0 0.059. And again, I don't want to bore you with this calculation, I've pre-computed it beforehand, and this should give us 0 0.161. So we have a chance of about 60% of being infected if we test it positive. 
And to be honest, this result here, 60%, is a pretty surprising result for most of us. Because the probability of having an error for our test is so low, only 5%. So how the probability of being infected, given that we tested positive, is so low, only 60%. Well, this happens because the probability of being infected overall is so low, it's only 1%. And I've explained this phenomena on another video about Bayes' theorem on my YouTube channel. So make sure to check it if you want to learn more about this. And that's basically it. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.